police came here at seven o'clock in the morning, uh, broke open the door. They come in, they handcuff me, they tell me to sit here. They take artwork, they take computers. The police who arrested Dylan wanted him in connection with a protest. The first protest of the Trump administration, Disrupt J20. On inauguration day, hundreds of anti-fascists marched through Washington, D.C. A handful of them broke windows and a few police officers were injured. But instead of just arresting the masked perpetrators, police rounded up nearly 200 people. Each of them are now facing up to 70 years in prison. But there's one problem with Dylan's arrest. You were not actually there at the Disrupt J20 protest that day. Yeah. But you are facing a felony. Yeah, I'm facing six actually, along with every other defendant facing 61 years in prison. Uh, essentially a life sentence for participating in a protest in the United States. Dylan, for his part, only helped plan an early meeting and designed these posters, but he's not the only one claiming total innocence. There are still legal observers and medics and journalists facing charges. Now, medics facing arrest, these are people who were on scene to provide mm -hmm. care for people who maybe were pepper mm -hmm. sprayed. You know, so Britt Lawson um, is, is a, a street medic, had a, you know, a med kit that was, that was unpacked in court that, you know, had uh, gauze and glucose tablets for folks with low blood sugar and band-aids and uh, cough drops. To recap, that's a registered nurse facing decades in prison for bringing cough drops and band-aids to a protest. It's not just that police arrested over 200 people for the actions of a select few, it's how they did it. Police employed a technique called kettling, which is where they detain anyone within a set area. The people who were indiscriminately kettled by police that day were held for hours without access to food, water, or a restroom. Prosecutors say everyone arrested was part of the plan to riot that day. But the ACLU says that kind of guilt by association is precisely the problem. When you start rounding up people who are um, vandalism adjacent while they're exercising their First Amendment rights, that's going to send a message to what protesters do the next time. The J-20 crackdown is just the beginning of an ongoing crackdown on protesters nationwide. Since Trump was elected, legislators in 18 states have either proposed or passed laws to restrict protesters' rights. In Tennessee, a bill in the state Senate would let drivers off the hook if they hit protesters with their car. The team fighting for the Inauguration Day protesters is worried that this trial could set a dangerous precedent folks should have the, the opportunity to, to express their political views and to organize and engage in collective action um, to, you know, fight for a better world. Um, and the fact that that is being uh, treated as, as a criminal activity and, and, you know, being brought to a, a felony trial by the U.S. Attorney's Office should terrify people.